It's sometimes useful to manipulate packet data in Excel. Now, Wireshark has a, an export function that enables you to export packet list information into a CSV. We can add that capability and make it much easier to use using Workbench. So let's drag a PCAP file onto the workpad. Now let's take Excel and try and drag that on there and obviously that's not going to work. So we need some form of transformer. So let's add a suitable transformer to do this. And the transformer we're going to use is T-Shark. So we need to go to Program Files, Wireshark, and then find the T-Shark executable, which is just here. We add that. Now we need to add a profile, and this is going to be packet list to CSV. Add some information there. Now the argument list is quite long. So to make things uh, quicker and easier, in the transformers directory, of Workbench, you'll find packet list args. Right click on that, edit it, mouse over it. I'm using Control C to copy it, and then go back into here and simply paste those arguments into there. Now, the input file extensions supported will be PCAP and PCAP NG. The output format will be CSV. T-Shark will output the uh, packet list information as standard out type output. So what we need to do is tick this box, which will redirect that standard out output to an output file. We only have one variable in, in this uh, arguments list, percent one, so we need to add that, and that will be the PCAP file. We save that. We add the transformer, we close that box, and now you can see we have the additional transformer up here. So let's try Excel again. And now T-Shark in the background is converting and or, or export, exporting the packet list data. And we get this file. So let's just tidy this up a little. The first thing is that we have uh, time column over here. Right click on the time column, choose format cells, go to custom and in here type hours hours, minutes minutes and these are colons I'm putting between these, second second and then your decimal uh, point, comma or, or in my case it's uh, the period and then three decimal places. That makes that slightly neater. Now we have this additional problem here, which is actually just something that T-Shark does when it's outputting. Sometimes we get characters that aren't interpreted correctly. So we can tidy this up. Click on the cell, mouse over the rogue characters, press Control C to copy, highlight the top of the uh, column, press Control F for find, click on replace, paste, the text here into this column and let's do something like put a hyphen and a right angle bracket and we just do replace all and close whoops and close and there you have it it's all now nicely nice and neatly formatted we can uh, obviously just expand those out so we can see the the complete uh, IP addresses